scared of your audience now because they're like, so talented. Yeah, like I don't know what they're gonna do next. Like snake charming, uh -huh. or there could be any any number of dangerous talents out there. I know. I I am always amazed myself. I don't like to see them ahead of time. I like to see them with the rest of the audience, and I'm I'm freaked out by the things they do. And I'm worried that loud that that soda drinking guy. Mm -hmm. Next town is loud belching. Uh huh. And that could be. I think I saw him doing that when he walked away. Yeah, I, there yes. was a bit of this. There was a yeah, little, there bit, was of a little yeah. bit of that. Uh, we actually did, we were at the telethon that yes. uh, a lot of people did to, to raise money for Haiti right That's after right. the earthquake, but uh, did we see each other? Well, Ellen, I think we were having a very different experience of the Help for Haiti telethon because you were, you were, you were dressed in a stunning white ensemble, I if was? I recall. I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't you know remember. Was. Uh -huh. And you were seated amongst people. I got there early. That's a problem of mine. So we went in to sit down and it was like the single most A-list event that I've ever been to. I mean, come on, that was crazy. It, it was, was Ringo Starr, Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford. And I walked in and I sat down this sort of horseshoe and I thought, oh my God, this is, this is crazy. I sat next to Anna Kendrick, who was adorable and darling. And Mel Gibson sat next to me, started showing me baby pictures. And I thought, you know, this is insane. My mother's gonna die. Mm. And you know, Adam Sandler and everybody is there. And um, I, we all sit down and then all of a sudden, in front of 200 of maybe the most famous people I've ever seen in my life, the guy with the headset comes over and goes, we're gonna need you to move. <laughs> ben Affleck's gonna be sitting there, so you're gonna have to go. So I have to stand up and do the, excuse me, sorry, pardon me, excuse me, sorry, pardon me, all the way down the aisle in front of like every single famous person in America. Well, I'm sure no one knew where you were going or what was happening. Where did you move to? Well, I went off stage and there was a very, <laughs> a very lovely woman said, you can sit here and just point to some folding chairs and then she took off and I sat down and then another lady with a headset come by and goes, you're gonna have to move, that's for talent only. So I have now been chastened <laughs> twice. Oh. And um, it was a humbling moment. Oh no. It's good for you though. That's, well they just didn't recognize you or something like that. The, I, you know, I think as my husband said, that's a pretty tough room to be important in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was not important. It really was, and I was told to get there later. I got there and all the seats were filled. I mean, it was like, wow. I mean, everybody, like you're mentioning, were just, and I was like, oh, there's well, no. Well, people like me had taken the seats and were quickly told to, uh -huh, to just yeah. take off. <laughs> they were like, I don't think your last movie opened quite as big. You're gonna be, you're gonna need it to It really go. kinda turned into something like that, but it looks, we were all for there for a good no, cause. No, it was we a raised, great cause, and, yeah. the, and the greatest thing is people were calling up, and kids who had, you know, saved up the, all of their allowance money were giving their only $10 or yes. $15, and I felt so bad, because they say, who is this? And I was like, is Julie Bowen? Anything? No. And there is this Demi Lovato there, Selena Gomez. And I would look around and get the girls and put them on the phone. So I, I did. People I did were calling my part. and you were handing the phone to other people to talk yes. to? Oh. I did. I handed the phone to those uh. darling, beautiful little like Disney girls. Oh, uh, well, listen. I did my part. Uh, you did. <laughs> you're so great on Modern Family, though. Thank you really you. are. You're, you're fantastic. And that's. Thank you. Pick up for the second season. Yeah, we do want a second season. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God, because right and now... Are you off right now? I am off for four glorious months with my family. <laughs> is that not exciting? You look like you I have three children under three. Oh. My house is like a war zone. Yeah, that's right. You have twins, right? I have twin 11-month-olds, and... Um, oh, and then there's Oliver, who's going to be three this weekend. Oh, well, it looks like he's taken care of them, so no, they're no, fine. No, no, no. He was bribed with candy to sit still for that picture. Oh. He was given a SpongeBob ring, and that, that made him happy. Yeah, I don't know how you're doing your job and, and raising those kids. You know what? You leave a dish of water mm -hmm. in the house, and uh -huh. you crack a window, they're fine. That's really? <laughs> Well, Same then rules of dog parenting I apply. Didn't know. Maybe I'll have kids after all. I, <laughs> I thought it was harder than that. I don't Litter know. box, yeah. they're good to go. Um, and, uh, and, and is the three-year-old going to school, or what is he doing now? He goes to, to school um, a couple days a week, which I have tried to get involved with. You know, you, you try to be the involved mom. But I, I have a job, which I use as my excuse a lot, but I'm a room mom, so I'm supposed to be like showing up for these events. Um, little things like pancake breakfasts and things like that. But the last one, I planned an event for the other room moms to get together and discuss a fundraising thing, and um, I forgot to show up. Ooh. Just me. 
just me alone. Didn't you show planned up. it and you didn't I go? I planned it. I emailed. I sipped coffee and sent to, you know away and didn't show up. Oh no! I did not. Well, here in this town, you can get kicked out of school for something like that. Right? Are you? Are you in one of those fancy schools? I told them that once I sat next to Harrison Ford at a telephone and they let me stay. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Is your kid in school with other celebrity kids? Um, I'm trying to think of who else is. Yes. Yeah, there are other celebrity kids. Slash, Slash's kids go there. Really? And, yeah. Now, it's fun in the morning to see drop off, you uh. know. But, you know Slash like, drops his kids off? Yes. Just like a normal dad with big earrings. Yeah, yeah. Like normal guy with like rock star paraphernalia that he puts on before he comes to school. He's actually a really sweet guy. So sweet, like yeah. holds the kid's hand, like yeah. so sweet, but you Probably know. shows up when he plans an event for the other dads. <laughs> so awkward, uh, uh, this is getting very awkward. All right, we have to take a break and we're gonna play a little uh, game of celebrity after this. Okay. We'll be back.